All right, guys, we're heading to a lake I've never been to. It's kind of buried back in the woods. It's uh, very muddy. There's actually two lakes. There's a lake right to my left, right over here, which we might fish a little bit. There's some sort of lake buried back here. And that's the lake I'm more interested in seeing. I've never seen it before. It's in the middle of a forest. I'm hoping that this lake turns out to be a, a nice little find because it's, it's very close to my house. I can already see the lake. Got a light drizzle going on. Oh yeah. This looks good. I would love to bring a kayak back here. Holy cow. We're gonna start out throwing that chatterbait. Same chatterbait as yesterday. Got one, got one. Oh, it's a good one too. Oh my gosh, yes. Yeah. Guys, first fish and this is a bucket mouth. Oh man, look how pale he is too. <sighs> wow, a couple casts in and I've already got a stud of a fish guys this is just unreal this is a good three pounder and man did he get stuck good oh my goodness oh look at those red lips look at those red lips man that is a that is a really nice fish solid fish especially for a couple cats in grab that z-man chatterbait Let's, uh, let's. <laughs> Whew. Wow. Okay. We might have found a, uh, a nice little honey hole here. This lake looks like it would be unreal with a, uh, with a kayak. That was just a cast right out into the middle I, I'm not there's no structure no anything that I know of so I'm just casting out slow retrieve this is some muddy water too so the chartreuse white chartreuse is gonna do well here I don't know what that was. Oh. All right, there's our first sign of grass. That's good. I want to see that. I got a point now out in this range straight out here <clears throat> where we've got some submerged vegetation. So I'm going to keep casting over there. I'm thinking about moving. I just don't know where I want to go yet. Oh, here I was thinking I was going to catch something on every cast. It started off so, uh, so strong. I thought, hey, maybe. Got a little bit of an inlet here. This is going to be unreal for spawn. Alright, well, let's, uh, Let's make our way back over here. There's fishing line on the ground, so I mean I know I know people are here. Let's throw the jerk bit a little bit. Let's see if I can not lose a jerk bait. Let's 
water's probably a little too muddy for the jerk bait. I'm gonna throw the other jerk or the other uh, chatterbait in a minute. See, uh, see what the action is like on that thing. All right, so I really like the look of this. This is that Nori's bait. It's very different than the typical chatterbait. It's got a uh, interesting head design. How the blade mounts to the bait is different. And I mean, look at the angle too. So the hook is not straight out from that, that head. It's actually at a downward angle. So I think this thing will actually fish like this. Oh yeah, oh man, that puts out some serious vibration. It looks really good. So let's see if I can, oh that's a, all right, I gotta free up this. <clears throat> Oh, I got one right away. I actually paused it. Oh, this feels like a really good fish, guys. Oh, oh, got it. Got a jump. Man, first cast with this Nori's, and uh, I just stuck a two pounder. There's that, there's that Nori's right there, and another two pounder and man I, I stopped it for a second and he came up and grabbed it man awesome fish there must be some weeds out there or something let's let's get a release on this 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 guy there he goes wow first cast with the norries that's uh that's promising. <laughs> and man, that one thing too about this, this Nori's is the hook is super beefy. Maybe they're looking for not just a steady to retrieve, but a, uh, a reel and a pause action. And I, I didn't even cast it that far. Man, the action is just unreal on this thing. It's a little bit more expensive than the Chatterbait. It's about double the price of a typical original, you know, Z-Man Chatterbait, but comes with a trailer it comes with two trailers which I really like these trailers I'm gonna buy some of these on their own they are the in my opinion the perfect trailer I don't know if you can if you can see this action there but man gives off a great action it's, uh... man I forgot how far I can get this to Tula to cast honestly I might stop at Lee's later today and get another one or two of these I really like them Chatterbaits are something that I actually don't have many of. I probably have three or four. I think I have like one green pumpkin, one white chartreuse. I have this one, and I think I maybe have one black and blue. I don't have many uh, weights. It's a really nice looking bait. Wow, man, this thing casts far. Jeez, I got this thing casting farther than a zillion. I'm more of a Shimano person. I like the quality and the feel of Shimano, but I cannot deny that these things can cast a mile. Again, it takes a little bit to get them dialed in. Man. I got 30 pound braid on this, I think. And, uh... I mean, I'm casting halfway across this pretty dang big lake. All right. I'm fairly satisfied. Now well, let's throw one more. All right. Start heading, heading back. To give you an overall opinion of this, like, I actually think this lake is, could be pretty killer. Oh, this might be the path right here. Uh, maybe not. Maybe? Let's do it. Let's, let's go. Well, you know, while we're out here, let's, uh, let's assume this is a path. figure out my way around this big old tree here it 
telling you, this lake with a kayak would be unreal. All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna run over to Lee's. All right, guys, we're gonna head back to the car. Peace.